Welcome to Linux Int YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about stacks in the C programming language. So without any further delay, let's get into stacks. So what is a stack? A stack is an abstract data type that holds an ordered linear sequence of items. A stack works on the principle of last in and first out execution sequence. An example of real world stack would be placing a thousand bricks on top of each other forming a stack of bricks. A brick placed first would be on the bottom of the stack and it will be the last one to get used, thus creating a last in first out execution sequence. So how does a stack look like when it comes to programming? A stack data structure looks something like this. So you have the first item at the very bottom and if you want to add another item you place it on top of the first item Similarly, you can fill up this stack or populate this stack however you want to put it. A stack data structure has two main functionalities. The first one is called the push method or the push function and the other one is called the pop function. Push function adds an element to the top of the stack while the pop function removes the element from the top of the stack. However, when you are implementing a stack in any programming language, you also include three more additional functions which are is empty which tells if the stack is currently empty or not and then we have is full which tells if our stack is filled up or not and then we have the peak which returns the value stored at the top of the stack. The way we implement stack is by creating a variable that points us to the element which is currently at the top of the stack. So let's try to code out our stack. So imagine that if we want to create a stack that can hold up to 8 elements so first of all, I'm going to create a variable which is going to define my max size which is going to be 8. Next up, I'm going to create my stack variable. And then I talked about this. We need a variable that will point us to the top of the stack or I should say to the element that is on the top at a particular moment. So let's create the first method which is the isEmpty method. So what we are doing in this method is that we are actually checking if there are any elements added inside the stack. If there are no elements then our top variable would have the index of minus 1. Next up we have the isFull method. So in this method we are checking if our top variable is placed at the maximum size index. If that is true then we are going to return 1 which would tell us that the stack is full and otherwise we are going to return 0 which would tell us that the stack is currently not full and there is still room for elements to be placed inside our stack. And then we have the peak function. We are simply going to return the value at the top of the stack. So we can use the index value top. Ok let's create the pop method. The one which would return us the value from the top and remove it from the stack. So let's create another integer function and we'll call it pop and within this pop method we're going to create a variable named data. So the thing that we are going to do inside this method is that we are going to check if there are any elements within the stack. If there are no elements then we have nothing to pop and we'll have to exit this function. So we do that by using the if statement with our isEmpty function. So if our stack is not empty then we are going to take the element at the top of the stack and we are going to place it inside the data variable and then we are going to reduce the value of the top variable by 1. And lastly we are going to return this data to where this function was called. And if the stack is empty then we are going to use a printf statement to prompt the user that there was an error. And we are going to say something like probably stack is empty. And finally we have the main functionality which is the push method. So the push method is going to take some integer values, let's call it data. And the first thing that we are going to do inside the push method is to check whether the stack has any room for new elements or not. And we have already created this function is full. And if the stack is not full, then the first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to change the value of the top variable. And then we are going to take the data that was passed inside the function and we are going to place it at the top of the stack. But in case the stack had no room for new elements, we are going to simply print out there was an error 
probably the stack was filled up to the top that sounds much better okay so we have coded all the functionalities so let's try putting some values in the main function adding some values into our stack then let's try to get the value at the top without removing it from the stack using the peak function so we have printf element at the top and we're going to use the peak function over here let's try executing this program so the last element is 15 now if you look at your screens right now you are being displayed a stack of this current code as you can see at the very bottom we have the number 3 on top of that there is 5 on top of that there is 9 1 12 and 15 and so on so let's try using the pop function once and then reprinting the value at the top so what we are going to do is that we are simply going to call in pop and then we are going to again print the value at the top if you look at the diagram as well at first we had number 15 or the value 15 at the top but after popping it out of the stack our current top contains the value 12 well everything is working fine push and pop is working fine but what if you want to pop all the elements of the stack well you can do that by using a while statement so we use while is empty is not true integer data is equals to pop so we are just calling the pop function and storing that variable or that value inside the data variable we can even print out the values that we are getting from this particular loop so if we comment out these current lines so now if you run this program we should see all the data from the stack being displayed to the screen and all of this data was removed from the stack as well so as you can see over here we have the values 15 12 1 9 5 3 an exact opposite of the order in which we have pushed these values inside the stack so that was all for the stack data structure in c programming language